it's been a nonstop party all day out here. It's a celebration open to everybody, and we've seen thousands of Bucks fans out here. We've also seen a handful of Kansas City Chiefs fans. Like it or not, Bucks, they're letting them in too. Couldn't find a Chiefs fan to go on camera, probably because Tampa is Bucks town. Oh, the buck. oh you gotta go with the Bucks. <laughs> And there were plenty of Buccaneers fans who had no problem talking up the team, and they're making some strong statements. We're well, very close with them. We're going to, we're going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Bucks Nation comes in all different ages. I've been with the Buccaneers since uh, '76. I love the Bucks the most too. One reason because they're my favorite color, red. Second reason my pop loves them. Third reason. I just love them. Some of them still trying to figure out what exactly draws them in. Why do you like the Bucks so much? Well, uh, I'm not sure. I haven't figured that out. For now, they're here for the party. It's surreal, basically. It's like, uh, it's, if I had to explain it, it's like, uh, a big community. A party spilling out onto the downtown streets and providing a boost for the businesses. We opened on uh, Friday the 13th of March. Uh, unfortunately, uh, six days later, we were closed by the state. Buttersburger Sports Bar starting off the new year a little better than last and cheering on the home team while they do it. You have to pinch yourself and just say, wow, uh, wow, we're here in Tampa and it's and it's happening. The Bucks bringing the economic boost and inspiring the next generation coming straight out of Bucks Nation. When I'm older, I, I dream to be a football player. The Super Bowl experience at Curtis Hickson Park goes through tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Then it kicks back off on Wednesday and goes through Saturday. Saturday leading up to the big game. Reporting in Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.